Do you know the praying hands drawing by Albrecht Dürer? We were seeing the structure of hands in the anatomy lesson and this drawing was present in the presentation of teacher. Since time was short, he did not tell his story and asked us to investigate. I wanted to turn this story into a video because I found it impressive. At the beginning of the 15th century, a rather poor family lived near Nuremberg. The head of the family with 18 children worked close to 18 hours a day to support his children with his modest income. When necessary, help would come from the neighbor. Despite their desperate situation, two of the 18 brothers, Albrecht and Albert, secretly cultivated a dream in their hearts. Both wanted to be master painters, but they knew very well that their father could not send them to the art academy in the city. After days and nights of discussion, the two brothers made a joint decision. They decided to flip a coin. The loser in the coin toss would work in the mine and the winner with the winnings would cover the expenses of his brother in the art academy. Then, when the winning brother graduated four years later, he would have the other brother educated either by selling his paintings or by working in the mine if necessary. One morning, they tossed a coin to the accompaniment of whispered prayers. Albrecht won the coin flip and made his way to the art academy in Nuremberg. Albert made his way to the mine. He sent money to his brother for four years. Albrecht's charcoal and oil paintings aroused admiration in almost everyone at the academy, so much so that he earned a lot of money even before he graduated. When the young artist graduated and returned to his village, his large family was eating on the porch of their house. After long conversations, Albrecht stood up, took the hands of his brother Albert and told him about the incomparable kindness he had done for him. Albrecht made his dreams come true thanks to Albert. He then concluded his words as follows. And now, my devoted brother Albert, it's your turn. Now you can go to Nuremberg and make your dreams come true. I'll cover your expenses. All eyes turned to Albert. No. Albert nodded, not needing to hide the tears that washed over his rather pale face. It was wearing left and right. Albert finally got up and wiped his tears. He scanned the face of his siblings, his parents and spoke in a soft tone of voice. No, brother. I can go to the Nuremberg. It's too late for me now. What four years of mining has done to my hands? Every finger has been crushed and broke at least once. Recently, unbearable rheumatic pain started in my right hand. I can hardly hold a glass. How can I work in pencil drawing and oil painting? My fingers have already lost the fineness to hold a brush. No, brother. No. It's too late for me now. More than 450 years have passed since this bittersweet speech. To date, Albrecht Dürer, hundreds of portraits, as well as charcoal, watercolor, and oil paintings have adorned the walls of the world's leading museums. But none of them became as famous as Albrecht Dürer's pencil drawing after dinner that day. This painting, which adorns many desks around the world today and hangs on many walls, was paired with Dürer, even more known than Dürer. Albrecht Dürer intended to paint the renunciation that his brother Albert made for him. He drew every detail of his brother's fingers and wrinkled palms, which had become crooked from working in the mine. In the picture, Albert's thin fingers were pointed toward the sky. The palms were open, as if expecting rain from the sky. Doers simply called this word hands, but people have filled such open palms and skyward fingers with a secret that warms every heart. Doers' hands thus became known as praying hands. When the coin fell, Albrecht's prayer to become an artist and Albert's prayer to be a model for an artist's most famous work were answered. Really it is. Albert may not have been an artist, but he became a very important part of the art produced by the famous artists.